Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Aditya and in this video, we'll be learning about the type conversions in JavaScript. So if you have seen my previous video, we have learned about the differences between statically type programming languages and dynamically type programming languages. So that was one of the very important concepts to know before starting this JavaScript course. So now we'll be learning about type conversions as I have said. So what do I mean by this type conversions? So type conversions simply means that we are converting a variable from one data type to another data type so this is nothing but type conversion so we'll just go on the screen and check out how do we do that okay. so hey guys right now we are on the laptop screen so as you can see I have opened a website called REPL.IT so usually when we code we use some kind of editor or integrated development environment shortly for IDE so instead of in the in the first video if you have seen I have used the Chrome developer tools for writing code so that's not a practical way or a good way of writing code instead we must use some kind of editor or like that so instead of inst uh, writing all the files in my uh, locally I'm gonna use this online editor called REPL so it supports most of the languages I have uh, already worked with Python and C++ all these work very fast no problem with that so I have just created a folder here and type conversions so in this video just we'll be learning how do we convert types of numbers numbers to strings and strings to numbers so you might be confused a little bit so let's just check out so I'll declare a variable so let me just full screen that so as you can see I have declared a variable let a equals 100 now let me just check the type of it type of a and run as you can see we have got the output as number over here now let us again check the now let us convert it I mean sorry so let me just remove this type of and console dot log and inside that we'll just convert it using a method or a function so that function is that we must keep first we must write the variable which we want to convert so a dot and then two string so as you can see we have got different like two exponential two fixed two locale string and two precision and two string so now we want to convert it to string so we use this method string and give some double brackets I mean two brackets and let's run this program so as you can see we have got the number so now we'll check the type of it type of so I think it just didn't add the bracket here so now it has added the bracket and now let's check the type so as you can see it has converted the string data type to a integer data type uh, to a string to an integer data type to string data type sorry for that so now I'll just show you one thing what happens so now let's check we have checked once the type of now let's again check the type of without converting type of a and now let's run this so as you can see it has not fully converted it into a string into a string so as you can see for that we must again try to reassign so we can just write a is equal to a, a dot to string so as we have covered this thing now let's cover how do we convert a string to an integer so let's have a is equal to a string called some let's I kept a random number whatever I type so now for converting into a random num uh, for converting into a number we just use a function called number so I'll just console.log it console.log and inside that we give a function called number and in that number we give the variable which we want to convert it so it can not only variable you can just write numbers like that and I can just give like this numbers uh, strings sorry I'm just sorry so you can give strings like that inside that numbers and it will try to convert it so now let me give me a and let us check what did, what does it happen so it is giving us 672 now let us check the type of it type of and run this so as you can see it has converted into type of 
uh, means it has converted into a number using the type of uh, number function. So this is just a basic thing how we convert from strings to numbers and numbers to strings. So I hope you understand the concept between the type conversion. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.